At My Talk 1071, we're all about entertainment, and this week that means sports entertainment. Specifically, it's about the sport that everyone is talking about, at least until Taylor Swift started attending football games. I digress. Our hosts have spent the week learning how to play pickleball, and we are getting closer to the tournament to see who is able to come out victorious. Get ready for a -a one-of-a-kind tournament featuring your favorite radio shows battling it out on the pickleball court. First up, we have Jason and Alexis. Tonight, they are the Ball Slappers. We're keeping them up way past their bedtime tonight, so can they handle the pickleball mayhem? Next up, it's the brine leading the brine, also known as Donna and Steve. Usually these two knuckleheads get all their learning from the College of Pop Culture Knowledge. Can they learn the ins and outs of pickleball this week? Bradley and Don are competing as Team Picklepuss. They might know their blind items from Hollywood, but can they blindside the competition tonight? And last but never least, Lori and Julia are Pickle Me Pink. They've got the outfits, but do they have the skills for pickleball? Before we dive into the action, let's get you up to speed on the rules. We asked the host at the beginning of the week to explain pickleball. So let's hear from them and see how well they actually know the sport. The rules of pickleball. Uh, So it's like tennis meets ping pong. You have balls. And your job is to get the ball to the other side of the net. When you're serving, go deep. Now, whenever you serve the ball, you have to do it underhanded. You can't spike it. When you serve, it has to bounce one time on the other side of the court, and then it has to bounce again on the other side, and then whatever you want. Whoever gets the most balls wins. You have to let it bounce first before you return the serve. And you can only score if you're serving. The bound lines, you can bounce on the line and it's still in. This is called the kitchen. You don't want to step into the kitchen because if you step into the kitchen and you hit the ball, then your ball is out. This is the kitchen. Um, You can't be in the kitchen. In front of each side on the net, it's called the kitchen. You can't step in there. This is the only time in life where you do not want to be in the kitchen. Most of the time you want to be in the kitchen, not in pickleball. Um, So the scoring, okay, so uh, we, we play to 11 points. Don't even ask me about scoring because I can't tell you. I just go blah, blah, blah. You know, scoring, don't worry about it. Let somebody else worry about that. That Well, here's the deal. You say three numbers in a particular order. I think you say your points first, then the opponent's point, point, points, and then if you're serving, you're either one or two, never three. Well, you start with zero, zero, two because when you first serve, you only get one chance. The scoring is a crap load of difficulty, and I tell everybody just watch it on YouTube because I don't want to teach anybody else. And you say your score, then you say your opponent's score, and then you say if you are player one or two. Let's say you get a point, then it's one, zero, one, because it's one to nothing and I'm the first server. Now I hit it into the net. So somebody else is going to serve. It's going to be two zero one. At this point, you will be deeply confused and you'll be like, should we just go get a hoagie and eat instead? And that's not a bad idea. So your job is to make contact with the ball. It doesn't matter if it goes out of bounds. If you hit it, you should congratulate yourself. You understood none of that because I didn't, barely did either. So congratulations. Thanks for sticking with me. And finally, wow, I did it. Now that you've mastered the rules, let's meet the players. Who do we think is going to win? I think, and I've never said this in 13 years of Project Don and Dirty, Lori and Julia. Really? I do. Who do I think will lose the tournament? Us. I am surprised we are 
as kind of good as we are. We're not bad, but we're not good. Do I think I, do we think we like the spectator aspect of this? People watching. Maybe? Come on crowd, right now, as this is being played somewhere, cheer right now, really, really loud. Come on. I mean, we're vets, we're old, cheer for us. All right. Our individual pickleball level from one to 10, 10 being a professional, I am a really You bring the average down, so. I am a really happy three. I'm a very happy three. I'm surprised at how much fun pickleball is. Now, of course, you're not like really competitively playing, but we're having fun and volleying. We're having such a great time. Okay, the pressure of the crowd is going to be very nerve-wracking for me. It's one thing to biff it, <laughs> like it hits you, and or you know you fall, uh, but it's another thing when there's like a hundred plus and who knows how many on the stream. Hey, friends, uh, are watching. So yeah, I that's going to be an added element that's going to be feel a little uncomfortable. I'm going to pretend that no one's there. Okay, if I'm going to rate myself as a pickleball player, I'm going to go for six out of ten. Rude. <laughs> To get ready for this week, I physically prepared by having a sick child and picking a toddler up and down and up and down. And um, we were cargo loading too, weren't That's we? That's right. Just? Never ending pasta bowl at Olive Garden. Mm. I am very fearful of being hit in the face. The hardest thing to learn for me is backhand. I will definitely be playing pickleball again. Boy, Look out. You said that with real conviction. I believe you. I will definitely be pick. Even better. Peter Piper. That's right. I will definitely be playing pickleball again. Look out. You know, I would really like to give Lori and Julia a piece of our mind <laughs> and a chance to, I don't know, take us on. I think that would be great. If you had to ram a pickleball down one person's throat, <laughs> who would it be and why, Lori? <laughs> or no, that came up. What? It would be you. I definitely do not like the pressure of spectators. I don't even like when someone walks into the studio when we're on the air. I am going to rate my individual pickleball skills from a skill to one to ten. Let's go to a three. Solid three. Yeah. Who do I think is going to win the tournament? And I really believe this. We will win. And I don't think it's going to be close. Do I think I'll like the pressure of spectators? I do. I wish we had spectators all day throughout our lives. I want people in the car with me. I want people in our studio. When they come, I'm like, this is great. Will this pickleball situation turn into a Project Down and Dirty comedy situation where I abuse the time, the game goes on and on, it's, you know, deuce, match point, and all that? Yes. If it goes according to my plan, if we're up big, <laughs> I'm going to let them back into it because I need stage time. Rate my individual pickleball skills on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 is professional. I'm going to say 5.75 right now, and I think I'm going to trend toward like a 6.5, 6.75 before it's go time. I am most fearful of face planting on this court because it's hard and I don't want to bust my face. <laughs> Oh, the hardest thing to learn for sure, 100%, totally, forever of all time, is scoring. I have no clue how to keep track of any of it, or who serves, or where I'm supposed to move. Dawn has to tell me what to do constantly. Ooh, who do I want to play in the tournament? I want to play not Julia, because she is really fierce and intense. I will not rate my own skills one day after I started playing pickleball. 1.75. Probably better than that, but I got a lot to learn and a lot of practice to do. Do I think I'll like having the pressure of spectators? Absolutely not. I feel like I'm just gonna turn and see a crowd and forget everything that I learned. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like really focus, which is not always easy. I think that uh, Julia will win the tournament on her own, by herself. By herself. Mm, let's see. I think that Donna and Steve will lose the tournament. I do not want to play against Julia <laughs> and Lori. 
mostly because Julia is scary and yells at Lori and I feel bad for Lori so I start to console her and think less about our team. I'm not sure I will like having the pressure of spectators but I think it'll make everything a little bit more intense and make it go faster so there won't be a lot of lulls and actually I'll love it because I love meeting my talkers and it'll be fun. My individual pickleball skills on a score of 1 to 10 out of all pickleball players is a 2.75, I think. I physically prepare, I've been in the gym actually leg pressing way more than I ever have. Um, and I'm about to like 350 pounds on the leg press, which is pretty good, I would say. I'm afraid to play in front of a crowd with the noise and kind of the distractions. I've already got so much ADD going on. I'm surprised how gorgeous this place is and we've never been here. That's Pickle. the wrong answer. You're all surprised right. at how great oh, I am. All right, stop. <laughs> okay, duh. I can't believe I didn't say that. I think we're going to slay in the tournament. It doesn't matter who we play, um, but we're going to win. If I was to rate myself between 1 to 10, 10 being a professional, I'd say I'm a 5. I'd say she's more like an 8. Oh, Lori, don't. Have you seen Lori, her serve? No, I, I double faulted all day. Do not stress me out on this. Do not overestimate me. I I'm love overestimating. I'm going to wet my pants because I'm going to be so nervous in front of the crowd and then I'm going to stick and I'm not going to be able to move. <laughs> I'm most fearful of falling and landing on my knees like I did in a badminton tournament in high school. I'm surprised that kind of my natural aptitude for pickleball, i got to be honest. Me too. The hardest thing to learn is where to stand, and scoring, don't even get me going on that. Agreed. I do not think I'll like having the pressure of spectators, but this place is big, and people will be easily distracted, and... Lori, how it's much? only on one court, though, when we're happening. Oh, dear. All right, I'm getting nervous in advance. I, my pickleball skill level is sitting at a solid three. My partner here is a solid seven and a half, eight. I, Lori, you've never seen a pro. Julia, you oh. are a pro. Oh, I am not. The best tip my coach gave me was keep your eye on the ball and both hands on the racket and your legs spread. First, you'd make it dirty. It's been a wild ride getting to know these teams and watching their antics as they master the art of pickleball. The tournament promises well, something. Let's just say we can't predict what's gonna happen, but it's bound to be entertaining. For more updates, behind the scenes fun, riveting action, and some unintentional comedy, follow us on social media. We are only minutes away from the start of our Project Down and Dirty Pickleball Tournament. We can't wait to see how it unfolds.